hello and welcome my name is Jocelyn if you are not new to my channel yes I cut my hair if you're new to my channel you would have no idea this is the first time that you're seeing me but for all of my not newbies I cut my hair and I freaking love it so I didn't want to just kind of move on with the video without mentioning very obvious elephant in the room that yes a lot of my hair is gone and I can't stop touching it and looking at it and playing around with it and I love it so much. So that's not why you probably clicked on this video. Uh, it's a stitch fix time. I actually got this in the mail probably a week and a half ago or so. Uh, it showed up and I wasn't really expecting it. Usually I get them about every month sometimes month and a half but this one feels like it came like three weeks after my last one so Oh well, here we are. If you missed my last Stitch Fix unboxing, I did keep every single item in it. So, this one might be a little... Well, I guess it depends on um, what, what she sent me. But uh, I hopefully will not be keeping everything in here because I try not to do that very often. But maybe I'll find one or two things. I guess we'll see. What is Stitch Fix? Stitch Fix is a styling subscription service kind of situation. You fill out a style profile on their website where you give them all of your measurements, all of your preferences, things you never want to receive, things you want to receive frequently, all that kind of jazz. And then they send you a box curated specifically for you with five items that they think that you will like. Uh, when they send you the box, you do get charged a $20 styling fee, but that $20 styling fee does get applied towards anything that you would like to keep from your box. So you get your box, you try everything on, you decide what you want to keep, what you want to send back, you pay for everything that you want to keep, and then they have a prepaid mailer envelope in the box ready for you that you use to put all the clothes that you don't want to keep back in, or exchanges. You can also do exchanges if you need something that's a different size, and you stick it in the mail, and it's that easy. It's very, very easy. And like I mentioned, the $20 styling fee does get applied towards anything you choose to keep. If you send everything back, you do lose that $20, but I'm just like swinging these scissors around. I will have a referral link listed down below that you can use to get $25 off of your first box. And then basically your first box is risk free because if you get a box and you don't like anything in it, you don't lose any money because the referral link covered the $20 styling fee. But if you find something you like, then that $25 gets applied towards that thing that you like. If you'd like to try it out by the end of the video, I will have that referral link down below. Okay, let's open this up so off the top we've got my mailer envelope that i will put off to the side we've got all of our information we've got the prices and the styling guide and a note from my stylist in here and then my items okay i'm very excited about all of these colors all right so off the bat we have something that's this very oh it looks really good with my hair back when i had red hair i don't think i would have been so keen on this color but it's like a cayenne pepper kind of color is what I'm feeling. What is this? This is the Norma Mock Neck Pullover Red, size medium. Ooh, it's very soft. It's a nice, chunky sweater. It looks very cozy for this season. Looks like it would fit well. Looks like it would look cute with my hair nowadays. It's kind of like a turtleneck, but like not really. I'm excited to try this on. Okay, next we have, oh, we have a, like a workout kind of tank. Interesting, she doesn't usually send me workout stuff. So it's got these nice, big, open arm situations. I feel like this is something I would be really interested in in the summertime, because you can wear the sports bra, uh, and then it's nice, and it's it's a little bit cropped, so you've definitely got some air going, because usually leggings, like, they come up a little higher on the stomach. So this isn't necessarily something that I need right now, but it is something I would use, you know, at some point. So this is the MPG Sport Revolve 2.0 Cropped Tank, dark gray, size medium. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, 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 okay. Next we've got a long sleeve shirt with a pocket in the front. This is the Pink Clover Melody Single Pocket Exposed Seam Knit Top, off-white, size small. I like the two sweaters the most so far. Okay, next we have, ooh, this is soft. I like this. Ooh, I like this a lot. This is, this might actually be my favorite thing, thing now. This is the Kalea Lila Crew Neck Knit Top Olive in the color olive, obviously. I like this, I like this a lot. I like the color of it too. I think it looks really, really pretty. Okay, 
excited about that. And last, ooh, oh no, last, we have some leggings. They're this really beautiful purple color. Uh, let's see, these are the Threads for Thought Rita Core Running Performance Leggings, uh, burgundy by small. So these have got some nice pockets, which are essential for me. Ooh, okay, so we've got all five of our items. This is a pretty standard box. There's definitely a handful of things in here. The majority of things in here that I'm pretty happy with and I'm excited to try on, but there's not too much that's, oh no, my wallet. All right, so first we've got my style guide and a note from Lindsay. Oh my gosh, I have a different stylist. <gasps> Why don't I have Lindsay? It's weird, this fix felt a little bit different. And I don't know if I'm just saying that now, you know, because I, I know that I have a different, that I have a different stylist. I've had it the same stylist, if I'm not mistaken, through my entire Stitch Fix journey, which has been well over a year now. And now my stylist is Morgan. I mean, I like the items that she sent, so I'm not gonna complain, but I am a little sad because I felt very connected with Lindsay. Okay, so now let's take a look at my prices. Okay. Okay, so uh, on top of my lap, I have the olive green Kalea Lila Crew Knit Top. This is $38, okay, sounds, sounds about right. And then the off-white pink clover Melody single pocket, whatever, long sleeve shirt, uh, this is also $38. The tank is the least expensive thing in the box. It is $32. The, this right here, oh, it's so expensive. I was pretty excited about this, but it is $68. And like I said, I did keep everything from my last box. So I don't know if I can spend $68 on this unless maybe it's just like the most perfect fitting thing. And then finally, the leggings. The leggings are $79. Oh. I did just keep a pair of leggings from Wantables. Um, that video should already be up on my channel. And so I just, I did just buy a pair of leggings and I do like the leggings. Well, I haven't tried these on yet, obviously, but I really like the pattern on those other leggings. So I don't know if I really need another pair right now, especially for $79, but we'll try it on. We'll give it a try. Okay, so I've got all five of my items. We've got all the prices. Did I say that these were $79? These are $79 and then the $68. Okay, so everything, the total cost of everything in my box is $255. If I bought everything, I would get a 25% discount, which would bring it down to $191.25. I will not, I know for a fact, I will not be keeping everything this time around, but that's, that's very much okay. If one of these items works out, that's that's good enough. All right, let's try everything on. Okay, so this is the first top. It's cute-ish and it's comfortable, but it's definitely not $68 cute. Like, I don't think it looks bad. I just don't wanna pay $68 for it. I feel like this looks really strange. Like I tried to tuck it down and then it just like, it just, it just pops back up. So this is a no, let's move on. Hmm, um, this is fine, but I don't love it. Maybe it's the exposed, the exposed seams or something. Maybe it's the pocket. I just, I'm not feeling this one either. Okay, we still have the olive one, which I'm holding out hope for. That's the one I'm most excited about. So let's try that one on next. Ooh, so this is super cozy. Uh, if I tuck it in, I think it looks really cute. This is so comfortable. It's like light and airy, but also cozy at the same time. Am I in focus at all? I don't think I am. Oh well, okay. I really like this. It's like almost camo, but not. I'm not a huge fan. No, scratch that. I'm not a fan of camo. So uh, this doesn't, this like kind of, it's a little bit camo vibey, but not. I like this. I like this one a lot. I might end up keeping this, okay. So next we just have the leggings and the tank. And I think I can put those on together. I might need to go get, I might need to go get a sports bra though. So, uno momento, please. Okay, so the top is kind of lackluster. I don't think $32 worth. The bottoms, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. I actually haven't really, they're really comfortable, but they're, eh, they're not, well, hmm. 
this is not a very flattering angle uh there i mean okay i'm gonna i'm gonna bring you back up because i don't know i'm not a good angle i don't really love either one of these the these were these are pretty comfortable and they're pretty cute but like i mentioned earlier i just bought a kind of more higher end pair of leggings and i just am not really in the market for any new ones right now and this is just kind of lackluster so with that being said let me throw on my normal clothes and we'll do some final wrap-up thoughts okay and we're back with all of the clothes so i think the only thing i'm going to keep is this right here this is the olive green kalea lila crew neck knit top olive size small i really like this very soft very cozy very comfortable perfect for this time of year i feel like i've gone into my wardrobe looking for something like this specifically and haven't found it so i think this will be a very good addition to my wardrobe everything else the leggings the two other long sleeve tops and the tank top are all going to go back they're just not quite what i need right now and especially since i kept all five items from my last box i definitely don't need to be adding a bunch of more stuff to my wardrobe so that is perfectly fine with me my bank cards could use a little bit of a break so all of these are going to go back into the mailer envelope which i put somewhere and back to the stitch fix headquarters if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up if you would like to try stitch fix for yourself again i will have a referral link down below that you can use to get 25 dollars off of your first fix if you'd like to see a five out of five box definitely check out well i'll try and link it below i i sometimes forget but I will link below my last five out of five box. Um, I got a lot of really awesome stuff. Actually, one of those things is right here. I got this super chunky cardigan that was like my last item. The thing that I maybe would have sent back if I hadn't been keeping everything else. And as a little bit of an update, I've worn this more than everything else. I throw it on so often because it's so comfy and cozy. The only thing that still sucks is that it doesn't have pockets, but it is so perfect for this time of year. So just a, just a little example of something that I got and I love from stitch fix if you don't want to miss future unboxings from me also consider subscribing all of the buttons are down below and i think that is everything i have for you today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one